This tutorial explains how to add a table on top of a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data set contains nine rows and three columns, which are called group X and Y. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines six and seven of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines nine and 10. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that a new plot object is appearing at the top right, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of our studio by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a scatter plot containing three groups, A, B, and C, shown in different colors. Now let's assume that we want to add a table on top of this ggplot2 plot. Then we first need to create a table, as you can see in line 13. So in this line of code, I'm creating a new table object, which is called my table. And after running line 13 of the code, you can see that this table is appearing at the top right of RStudio. And if you click on this table, you can see that we have created a new data set, which is also containing values based on our groups, our Y, and it shows the frequencies of those groups. So let's assume that we want to add this table on top of the ggplot2 plot. Then we also need to install and load the ggp misc package, as you can see in lines 15 and 16. So I have installed this package as well. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 16 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the ggp misc package. And then in the next step, I'm using the ggp plot object that I have created in the beginning of this tutorial. And I'm adding to this the annotate function. And within the annotate function, I'm specifying that I want to add a table object. Then I'm also specifying the X and Y axis locations in our plot. And I'm specifying the table that I want to draw. So in this case, my table. So if you run lines 18 to 22 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And this time we have added a table object on top of this plot. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.